Welcome back. As we've been showing you, many towns have been decimated by floodwaters. Now, Laurel and Billings have not seen the waters rise to that level as of yet, but officials believe that could happen as early as tomorrow morning. Our Phil Van Pelt has more as residents and campers make preparations. We've seen the destruction caused from flooding in places like Red Lodge and Absorkey. Right now, the water levels aren't quite as high here in Laurel or in Billings. But as the Yellowstone continues to rise, evacuations are already taking place, like here at the Riverside Campground. The reason we're evacuating Riverside Park is the water levels can actually be higher than the park. Massive flooding has taken a stranglehold over Stillwater, Carbon, and Yellowstone counties over the last 12 hours. The fast rising waters were jump started by unpredictable weather and could now potentially impact Laurel and Billings. I have been out around the soils are saturated, so if we get any more pre precipitation, we could have some problems with uh, flash flooding and runoff. What can still be for places like Laurel isn't far removed from the memory of many. In 2011, the Silver Tip spill dumped an estimated 750 to 1,000 barrels of crude oil into the river. Efforts have been made to improve the surrounding areas since the incident, although water levels are currently approaching a similar spot. Well, since 2011, when we had the Silver Tip spill, we uh, armored the bank here in Riverside Park. We also then did armor, like I said, more of the water treatment plant. Um, from the pictures I took in 2011, it's getting close to the bottom of the piers or the bridge over there. In the midst of a natural disaster like this, Market Guard reiterated a message in staying safe. The best thing I can do is property is not worth losing your life over. So if you're near it and you're trying to protect it and it's gonna be a losing situation, just move away from it, get to higher ground and stay safe. We can always rebuild. In Laurel, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.